Hello, my name is Andrew Kirk. I'm the program leader for paramedic science here at Sheffield Hallam University. I want to tell you a little bit about a project that we did in relation to uh, assessment of uh, clinical skills with our students. Now traditionally we've assessed the practical skills with paramedics by an objective structured clinical examination or an OSCE. Um, these are practical tests which require quite a lot of staff to um, conduct them. We find them quite expensive and time consuming to run and the students themselves find them very nervous, um, very, very nerve wracking, very difficult to uh, perform the skill when they need to under those exam conditions. So we had this idea that we could use um, Pebble Pad and Pebble Pocket to assess some of these simple psychomotor skills by producing videos. So each student was given a workbook using Pebble Pad and they used Pebble Pocket linked to their account to record the videos of them performing the skills. As you can see on the screen here, this is Phil, one of our students, uh, starting to perform um, one of his airway management skills. Once they recorded these videos, these would automatically be uploaded to their account in, um, in Pebble Pad and they can then be added to the workbook ready for the student to use as evidence. We found from some of our early trials that we um, needed to put some, some rules, some framework to what we requested the students to do. So we asked them to make sure that they were clearly visible in all the videos that recorded, that they stated their name and which OSCE they were performing. Um, things like that they, they performed them in a professional manner. We you know with some of our early videos we were sent included uh, one student in a pink fluffy pyjamas and slippers at home doing the uh, respiratory assessment on our partner which clearly wasn't um, an appropriate thing to do. And we also made sure that they understood it was their responsibility to make sure that these things were submitted on time. Now we did have some problems with um, standardisation and the students understanding exactly what was required. So we did um, produce some um, demonstrations, some exemplar videos, which we then uh, hosted on PebblePad on different uh, web pages, published to the um, web, and then put QR codes next to the equipment. So when the students were recording a video, if they had any questions or were unsure how to perform the skill, they could scan the QR code, watch the video, and that would remind them exactly what they needed to do. Um, so they could um, book rooms, we allowed them to book their own rooms um, to record the videos and we asked them to record three separate videos and again asked them to have some space in between them. So the first one was self-assessed, the second one peer assessed and the third one was tutor assessed. And we said to them it's absolutely fine for there to be mistakes in those first two videos because that would demonstrate progression and learning. So each of these videos is now added to the workbook. The self-assessment and peer assessment can take place. They give comments, um, they make their own comments on their own performance and make comments on each other's performance. This was starting to get them into the idea of peer assessment and peer support, which is part of um, um, their, their requirements for future progress. They can then be assessed uh, after the deadline date by the examiners, we could split the uh, workload between all the uh, all the teams. So we could mark sat at home here. You can see me sat at home by my swimming pool, uh, marking an assignment. As the module leader, you can clearly see how the students are doing, which students have passed, which students have had referrals. Um, it allows us to, where there are referrals, as a module leader, I can then go on and watch the video again. So it made it really good for internal moderation. And even when um, it went on to external moderation, um, each of the moderators was able to watch the video. We then add um, the OSCE sheet videos to the students' um, progression record. So they have a portfolio that runs through the entire three years they're with us, contains their placement records, but also contains their OSCE records, which allows their um, practice educators to see how they're performing in their skills at the university. Some of the byproducts, when we did a little bit of research at the end of it, we found that. Um, a significant number of students uh, identified that um, doing the assessments 
via video rather than performing them, it significantly increased the amount of time they spent practicing the skills here at the university. Also having the um, QR codes and the videos reduced the number of the, the amount of time they needed for tutor support. So if it was straightforward questions, they could just uh, re-watch the video and, and, and answer it for themselves. Some of them still needed to come and ask us the odd question, but we found that rather than having lots of people around to help, we could have one tutor stationed in a central position for them to come back and ask questions when they needed to. Generally the students found the videos relatively easy to produce. Where we did have problems was with students using their own devices and having the capacity to, to record um, the videos on their, their own devices. And similarly with their own devices, when it came up to uploading the uh, files to PebblePad, if they hadn't adjusted the cameras from high definition back down to a normal level, we were producing files that were too big and therefore we had some problems uploading them actually into PebblePad, which were sorted. We managed to compress them later on. Uh, overall, everybody found the process uh, relatively easy and straightforward. Even some of the students who are self-confessed um, technophobes um, managed to do it and actually said at the end that, they, that once they'd got used to the technolog technological aspects of it, they found it much, more, much easier and much more preferable to doing the OSCEs in the traditional style. Um, like anything, we always look to approve things, uh, improve things as we go along. So we looked at how we could maybe take it one step further, improve the way we were managing um, the performance of the OSCEs. So a couple of things we did, we reduced the number of videos that we asked the students to do from three to two. So now the first one is both self and peer assessed, and the second one is the one that we assess. The students can use the option within PebblePad to uh, assign um, uh, an external assessor to complete the um, um, feedback uh, rather than having to sit at the student's terminal and we purchased some dedicated tablets which we now keep around in the vicinity when the students are recording them to get around this problem of storage uh, and availability on the device. So thanks for listening, I uh, hope you found it useful and if you need any further information I'm sure Shane or one of the others will pass on my details.